it's me, Crazy Girl in Black, and today I want to show you how I made my old altar, since I'm going to have a new, bigger altar table uh, be put into my uh, room in the next couple of weeks. So I thought I should do this video before I won't be able to do it at all. Alright, so let's see how it turns out. When putting together my altar is I like to use this um, exorcism oil which is to cleanse and purify the space. So I'll just get that open. All right. Just get that open and I'll pour just a small amount onto the table. And then I'll start wiping both whiter shine and docile off. Alright. I did make this altar cloth quite a few years ago. Um, so you, you can tell because it's really worn down with all the patches of wax everything so I just like to put this a little bit over the edge like that All right and then I will put on my goddess and god candle All right I like to keep them off the altar cloth and slightly away from the wall to prevent burning or things catching on fire Grab my goddess candle and my god candle like that. Okay. And then what I want to do next is put on my god and goddess who is uh, bast. Let's see if I can get so I like to put on my god and goddess. We got Bast, and then we got Anubis. They're two tiny little figurines. They're um, just temporary until I get uh, a good, my two good sized ones. And then these ones will go into my um, travel altar because of their convenient size. So Bast, Bast shall go here. And Anubis will go there. Try and even them out. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. The next thing that I would want to put on is my elements. So my altar is currently facing east right now, but I prefer to keep my elements, um, uh, earth, air, fire, and water instead of, um, earth, air, fire, and water. Um, but that's just my personal choice. It's kind of how I like to do it. Not many people usually do it. They like to keep their elements corresponding to the actual directions, but I don't usually have the space to do that since my, um, some of my uh, objects are larger than others. So the first thing I want to put on is my earth elements. So my earth element, we got my um, selenite candle holder. And I will put a white candle in there like that. Uh, let's see. Um, I want to put in a candle, not a candle, an incense burner, an incense holder. And I'll just put in a small thing of... Um, of uh, lavender incense for now, just as an example. Uh, as well as a feather, 
to represent air. And seashell for water. Where is it? This is my bowl that I use to hold water. So that goes by the shell. A red candle to represent fire. This is quartz crystal. Next thing is a, well, I forgot to put this on, is a uh, clear quartz crystal. I like to keep the actual uh, objects of representation inside the, the pentacle or the, the pentagram, just like that. And then I start adding on all the extra little bits. So I'll also go get my working candle. So my working candle goes here, like that, and my wand is made out of maple, a uh, string, and an acorn, so that goes there like that, like that. I also have my bowling, my working knife goes there. Now that's used to cut fruit and vegetables like, like, and um, stuff like that. And then I have my Ithami. I'm going to get a new one because this one's getting really rusted and it's cracking uh, on the blade. It wasn't a very, um, it was just meant to be as a temporary Ithami, but it has served me well. Uh, we need water, so I have my rain water here. So I put some rain water in there, like that. Yeah. Um, I also have a bell, so the bell goes here, like that. And I use that to, uh, when I'm calling the quarters and beginning and ending a ride, calling a circle, all that fun stuff. I just have this fish skull, and that goes near Bast, because she likes fish. Also, it also helps represent water. So, fish. Uh, what else? I also have my uh, shell that I use for sage burning, but I did use it as a temporary cauldron. Um, I will be putting my real a real cauldron in on my new altar, but this is just to show what my old altar used to look like. Okay, like that. I also put in salt, and that stays up there. Goes over here. Okay. Fish head goes near past. Here we go. Altar. The very last thing I put on um, is my one of my chalices. I know my altar looks kind of cramped, but this is the chalice that I would be using if I had space. The chalice that I usually use is this size, because it fits nice and snug. I do have two of these uh, in these sizes. Uh, one I do use for milk, and one I would use for wine. Um, it would all depend on the uh, Sabbath. Uh, how many chalices I would have on my uh, on my altar. So this is my finished altar, and uh, let's look. Let's see what it looks like all lit up. 
So what I usually do is I light the goddess candle first. And then I light the god. And then I light my working candle. And then I use my working candle to light the rest of my candles. And like so. Making sure that your candles are away from anything that will burn or catch fire. Because, as a reminder, safety is an issue. So, that is what my uh, altar looks like when it's all finished, all clean and ready to go. And beside it is basically like my side table that I did make myself. I got my two Book of Shadows. This one is currently in the works. I got my water, my bee song my spirit animal, which is a red fox, uh, my first pentacle I've made, and antlers from a deer. So that's what it all looks like. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And remember, and remember guys, blessed be.